day two here in Rawai. Now look, if I just turn this round a bit, you just wake up and just walk out your balcony, la 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 la, and you got the sun over there. Whoa, let's get that sexy sun there. And then you got just the pool, and I'm just gonna chill here. By the way, I don't smoke. That ashtray was there already. You know I don't smoke. Sawadika. Hello. <laughs> I come to get food. So these are the condiments they brought over. In Thailand, we got like chili flakes. And they're like chili peppers. And then we got more chili peppers. <laughs> Two seconds from my gym. Um, got some fuck all really, take my laundry in there per kilo. That's just around the corner as well, barber shop, go in there and get a little beard trim and all that as well. What have I just passed? Phuket Yeah, look, it's like bars going on there. Bang, ring. Oh, that is lovely. Massages, oi oi. Little bar restaurant. And then look, pow, the water. This is literally on the road there. 10 minutes from my hotel. Like just, this is just, you know, little one person there, a couple of kids in the sea. That's it. And then just me chilling. This is just beautiful. This is what I want forever myself a tourist sim from the 7-eleven it's 299 baht here's a hundred baht for eight days of non-stop internet so 100 baht is like two pound fifty so it's gonna cost me like 10 12 pound fifty for the month um, for, for internet decent another massage place with rooms yeah next to that a fighter shop we got a bar we got a Muay Thai gym uh, we got bags, we got gear. Tattoo place, I've seen two of these now. These are dangerous places for me because they don't cost as much as London, so oh, this is dangerous for me. When you're getting changed, sometimes you'll get stickers. One by each these ones, and obviously these ones are free because look, you know, they're bigger and better. Imagine that in London, it'd be a fucking outrage. It is proper hot. After I have this cup of tea, I'm so English. Count to Thailand, cat bad to see. I'm gonna get me a ped. Now I feel like a VIP. Now I was talking to Yasmin, the lady who owns the Kangram Maito, who's offered me the sponsorship. And she asked me, do I have a scooter? And I was like, just about to go get one. She was like, no, no, I'll call someone and get them to drop the scooter to your hotel. Come on now. I was like, you're, you're like a gangster. Now I feel like a gangster. I'm living the, I'm living life here. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> I'm loving it here. Woman just came, dropped me this bike. So, um, that's what I'll be riding around on for a bit. Come to see the gym, I'll be training out, I'm so excited. Just came here before people get here. This is where I'm gonna be training. Ah, oh, just cannot wait. Bags, I'm in two rooms. This is Martina, she's coming. I do a little work, she's one of the owners as well. Bags here. Training, one of the boy, one of the trainers. So yeah, this is where it's all gonna be happening. I can't wait. Kangrang Muay Thai, yes. Trying to check out some gyms, so I came to a Rawai Gym and Fitness so I could do a bit of strength conditioning and see what I want to see.
o'clock at night, I was sitting at like, the apartment floor and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna go to Nahar Beach really to see what it's like at night. It's meant to be a nice one anyway. I thought, let me just check it out. Now, I drove somewhere, but I don't think this is the beach. I got lost. Well, that was a crazy journey. Got lost, drove around. You know what? I think I'm done for the day. I've got my apple. I've got my alcohol-free Heineken. And that's me done. Ready for another day. See you later.